RSVP in it for Via Arte. It's back this weekend with artists making their drawings come to life with chalk on the pavement at the marketplace. And joining us in studio now that it's all beginning, we have Lauren Marty from the Bakersfield Museum of Art. Hi. Hi. I love this event because it's one of those that just feels like fall, but it's also your cheeks hurt from grinning. <laughs> Walking around and looking at all of this art is just fascinating. Ditto on the aching cheeks. Right. Actually, it, this event means so much to us. We, a lot of people tend to think that art is only for certain kinds of people. Right. At, our, at BMOA, we think art is for everybody. Anybody can create. Yeah. So this weekend, we have over a hundred professional artists, and I'm really excited to say 28 student teams, oh. local junior highs and high schools and service groups coming out, turning the pavement into a gallery of amazing chalk masterpieces. Oh, I just love this. And there's always a featured artist. Yes. So all the artists are competing because they not only want to show off their work, but also be right. among the best. That's right. But there's one who's kind of the history of the best of the best. Oh, this we are so excited to introduce the community to Katrina Rocha. She has been participating with BMOA and at Via Arte since middle school. She competed in a middle school team in high school and she won awards in 2021 and 2022. This year she will be doing her rendition of Renoir's Luncheon of the Boating Party oh. in a 10 foot by 14 foot square. I was out there with her this morning. It gives me chills. Uh, I'm, I'm so excited to see the finished product. That, I mean 10 feet by 14 feet, that is life size. Yes ma'am. Oh how yes, amazing. Yeah, go big. Right, to magnify <laughs> something that classical. I just love it. It's gorgeous. So you can stop out tomorrow and see it in works. Absolutely. And then on Sunday, it's kind of like, okay, everything's finishing up. What time are awards? So awards are going to be around 345 on Sunday. And everyone's asking, when do I go? When do I go? Depends on what you want to see. Mm -hmm. You want to see the start of things? Come out Saturday morning, grab your coffee, maybe some breakfast, tour the squares. Okay. If you want to see the more finished products, that's a Sunday play. Come by after church, stroll the squares, awards are going to be announced around 345 and they're all juried so people aren't just competing for bragging rights they're competing for cash prizes and when you are on site be sure to note which square is your favorite okay so people can vote for the people's choice award oh i just love that the 25th anniversary of this italian street painting festival it's completely free celebrate art in our community celebrate the beautiful weather to be Absolutely. wandering around out there my last question for you yes, because i was late as i am every year oh are there any via bambino squares left that depends on when you get there, friend. Okay. I would get there as soon as soon you as can. Possible. That's right. So the Bambino squares, they're two feet by two feet. Mm -hmm. Proceeds benefit the, mus the museum. And they're not just for the kids. Yeah. Mom can get I in on it too. One. You could. Okay. I'm thinking about my little five-year-old artist. We just, <laughs> you know, life, I hadn't got to it. And I was like, oh, they're probably sold out. No, so no, no, no. Get no. there early. Okay. Get there early, box of chalk included. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Lauren. My Have pleasure.